You know what Cape Fear does well? Everything. It does everything well, there isn't anything to nitpick. The stuff that doesn't work is so minor that it barely even matters. The episode is that good. There isn't even a need to go over all of the amazing scenes because we couldn't possibly fit them into 60 seconds. What's really remarkable about Cape Fear, though, is its balance. The writers somehow put together an episode about a man hunting down a 10-year-old boy while still managing to make it hilarious. And it very easily could have gone off the rails. It could have been a melodramatic mess with characters constantly crying into each other's arms. But it also could have turned into a complete farce, making Sideshow Bob more into Wily e. Coyote instead of a real threatening villain. You definitely get the feeling that Bart could be sliced to pieces by Sideshow Bob. I mean, look at all the build-up they put in the episode. But at the same time, they keep things ridiculous enough that it won't give the audience nightmares afterwards. Everyone knows that if you're going to do a murderous stalker, you've got to keep things light. It's this balance between lightness and heaviness that truly does make Cape Fear one of the best TV episodes of all time. Also, Rakes.